Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to use algebraic reasoning to make sense of this situation. When the parent function is the cosine of x, and g of x represents a bunch of transformations on that function, how can we check our work or evaluate the function, for example, at g of 0? So we know the input is 0. What's the output? And on the reverse, if we know the output is 0, how can we find that input x? How do we do that? Well, the, the answer is we can transform it on a graph, we can enter it in the calculator, obviously, but we can also use algebra. And that's what we'll start with. The algebraic reasoning here is very powerful. And it reminds you of sometimes how simple this process can be. So if you plug 0 into g, g that would be 1 minus f of t pi plus 2 times 0. And that tells you that's 1 minus f of just pi, right? Because pi plus 2 times 0 is pi. And that means you have 1 minus the cosine of pi, because f is the cosine of whatever your input is. And the cosine of pi um, is, if you think about your unit circle, it's just negative 1. So it's 1 minus negative 1, which is 2. So it tells you that, first of all, on a graph, if you, if you plug in 0, the output on this graph would be 2. But it also shows you how to check um, any particular input-output pair. And also it shows you how to connect, in this case, from g through f to the output of g over here. And that's a really interesting process. Now, for the other one, for g of x equals 0, it's a little more complicated. But the idea is you want to know, when does g of x equals 0? In other words, when does this, 1 minus f of pi plus 2x, when does that equal 0? And that's the same thing as 1 minus the cosine of, all right, this way, 2x plus pi. When does that equal 0? And if we subtract 1 on both sides, multiply a negative 1 on both sides, we get the cosine of 2x plus pi equals 1. And now we're trying to solve this. If you remember how this works, the cosine of some angle equals 1. The cosine of some angle equals 1. Now that happens when you're looking at the, when theta is 0, basically. Let me write this way. The, I'll write this way. The cosine of theta equals 1 when the angle you have, theta, equals the unit circle uh, cosine refers to x, so at 0, plus 2 pi k radians. This happens. Any amount of 2 pi radians around the circle that you revolve. Keep going. All right, so what does that mean? Well, we said the cosine of 2x plus pi has to equal 0. That means 2x plus pi, which is our theta, that has to equal 0 plus 2 pi k. And sorry, this said not 0, but 1. And now we want to solve for x. So 2x is going to equal 2 pi times k minus pi. We divide everything by 2, and we get pi k minus pi over 2. And this tells you that whenever x is equal to pi times the n k, where k is an integer, and you take pi over 2 away, the output will be 0, right? So for example, if k is 1, then you have pi times 1 minus pi over 2, which equals 2 pi over 2 minus pi over 2, which equals pi over 2. And that was true. If you're on the graph, if you plug in pi over 2 to g, the output is 0. But also, if k is negative 1, you would get, let's say, pi times negative 1 minus pi over 2 equals negative 2 pi over 2 minus pi over 2, which equals negative 3 pi over 2. And um, that was beyond our domain. Um, so actually, I should plug in, sorry, k is 0. That's the next integer down. Pi times 0 minus pi over 2 is just negative pi over 2, and that's true. If you look at your graph, you get negative pi over 2 as an input. The output is 0. All right, I hope this helped.